Hey, it's Cole here. Welcome back to another video. And man, is it ever too early to do another mock draft because we're doing a 2024 first round mock draft. Way too early mock draft. Let's go ahead and do it. Now, the Cardinals have the number one and number two overall picks. Actually, before I say anything, this is BFF's mock draft, you know, rankings or order, not mine. So don't come after me. Come after PFF. And I think it goes off betting odds or whatever to win the Super Bowl. But the Cardinals have the number one and number two overall pick. One being because it, you know, I don't think I don't think we all think they're gonna have a good season. But also they got the Houston Texans, um, first round pick. So they had the number one, number two row pick, and when, uh, realistically they're gonna trade this pick. And I'll say this: there will no be there will be no trades other than just this one. And I'm gonna have to watch the Commanders come up because I feel like they would be one of the more likely teams to do this with new ownership. And if they're in the five, if they're at the five uh, overall five spots that means Sam Howell probably isn't the franchise quarterback so realistically it'd be a few first round picks probably three maybe just two it depends you know how everything goes but Washington gets the number one overall pick they trade up I feel like that would make sense because I feel like the new ownership would come in and like yeah let's go ahead and get Caleb Williams a hometown kid from the DMV area I think that makes too much sense if they are in this situation. Now, the Cardinals are on the clock, and I think they'll stay put. They won't trade down again, and they're going to go ahead and get Marvin Harrison Jr. for Kyler Murray. And I don't think the Cardinals will take a quarterback because if they trade Kyler Murray, that's a lot of money that they'll, they'll be paying for a guy that's not on their team. So I don't think that's going to happen. Now, the Buccaneers, they don't go ahead and they don't get Caleb Williams, but they go ahead and get Drake May. Um... I, I think that's good. It, look, it seems like they're trying to tank for Caleb Williams. I don't think Baker or Kyle Trask is the future quarterback there. Now, the Colts are on the pick, and they can definitely go a few places. The cornerback, but I'm, I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to have him take a tackle. Who do you like more? Joe Alt, uh, Olumiwa, Fashunu. I'm going to just give him Joe Alt here. You know, I'm not, you know, they're two really good tackles. I'm not going to you know bigger and better who's the better tackle as of today so again we'll have the, the, the Colts take tackles because they definitely need some offensive line help now the Cardinal, Cardinals are back on the clock and again they could go anywhere to be completely honest if they really wanted to they could go Brock Bowers they could take another tackle to put on the other side of Paris Johnson Jr. Uh, edge rusher would make a lot of sense in Jared Verse I, I'm gonna give him Kool-Aid McKinstry here they need some cornerback help. They lost Brian Murphy, uh, Byron Murphy, this last year, and I don't think they really addressed it. They probably get a cornerback in the draft, but go ahead and get a top cornerback. You need some defensive help anywhere, absolutely anywhere. Now, the Green Bay Packers, it, it really all depends how Jordan Love did this year, but I think getting weapons around Jordan Love still is huge. So would you would you rather take Brock Bowers? Would you rather take a receiver? Since they don't like taking receivers, we're going to give them Brock Bowers. And then the Raiders are now on the clock. A tackle makes perfect sense for them. Going to go ahead and give them Fashunu. Titans now on the clock. You know, again, do they like Will Levis? Do they like Malik Willis? What, you know, how well did they play that season? I'm not going to give them a quarterback here. But they could go tackle. I think that's a definitely a possibility. They could go edge rusher, even though I... They did address defense a line a lot, but obviously Jared Verse is a really good player. They could even go receiver. They can go a lot of places here, but I think I'm going to go ahead. Ooh. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm thinking of the Rams, not, not the Titans. I don't think they go tackle. They could go receiver. They could go edge rusher. One of the two, but I'm going to I'm gonna give him Jared Verse. I'm going to give him Jared Verse. And the Rams are on the clock. I think they got to look at quarterback. And it depends who you like, you know, more. You know, any of these guys could be the pick. I think I think I'll give him Quinn Ewers, the younger guy too. Now the Bears have back-to-back -back picks. They got Darnell Wright, so edge rusher makes a ton of sense. You know, again, who do you like more? We're gonna go ahead and give him Dallas Turner, and then they got another pick here. A linebacker? Well, no, they don't need a linebacker. Maybe a cornerback? That's a possibility. 100%, that's a possibility. Who do you like? 
If they want to go on the other side, they got Darno Wright. You want to get yourself another offensive tackle for Justin Fields. That makes perfect sense as well. Um, they could go receiver, even though I think they're happy with their receiving core. Let's go ahead and give them. Let's go ahead and give them a cornerback in Kalen King. The Patriots are now on the clock. They didn't address offensive tackle with the first few picks, if I'm not mistaken. I know they took um, Christian Gonzalez, and I forgot who they take in round, took in round two. Then it was Marte Mapu. Gonna go ahead and give him J.C. Latham. Falcons on the clock, and I think this is a this is a pick there for wide receiver. You know, you get Drake London. Um, now the problem is that is that they need wide receiver help, or they do need wide receiver help, but they also really do need defensive line help, and just defense defense in general. But they like going best player available, so I'm gonna see. I'm, I would be interesting to see what they do next year in free agency. But let's go ahead and give them Mimika. Egg Buka. The Giants are on the clock. Obviously, they don't need to, they don't won't draft a quarterback, but a linebacker is a possibility. A uh, cornerback could be, even though I know they took um Dante Banks last year. But um I think linebacker makes a lot of sense here. Yeah, let's give him a linebacker here in Jeremiah Trotter. The Broncos. It really depends how they feel, man. But I could see him taking a quarterback with this pick. But, man. Do they give up on Russell Wilson? Maybe they just make sure they get their future. And that makes a ton of sense. I think we'll, we're will we just going to go here with uh, Michael Penix. But he, he's an older player, I believe, right? I think he's an older player. Let me, let, let me actually look at his age. Because... I know he got injured one year at Indiana. Michael Penix Jr. Um, he is tw oh he's only twenty two. Yeah, let's give the Broncos a quarterback. You know, again, depending on who you like, Michael Penix, and then I think the Seahawks could be in a position to take a quarterback as well, depending on how they like Geno Smith and everything. Let's go ahead. Let's give him Bo Nix. The Steelers are on the clock this point this puts them close to the playoffs could they make playoffs um defensive line i know they took project jones they took joe Putter jr so that fixes it cornerback i still think could be in play uh you got tj watt you got keanu benton we'll see what happens with cam hayward but i think maybe getting an edge rusher on the other side, or just a defense lineman in general, could be very useful to Steelers. Let's go ahead and give them Jerzon Newton. And I could be, man, I could be making a terrible mock draft. Honestly, I don't even know who half these guys are, but I, I'm having, you know, I'm getting to know these names. I'm getting to know these names too, as you guys are as well. Vikings. Quarterback, I guess, could be in play. I don't think another quarterback is going in this first round, however. The edge rusher definitely is a possibility. Cornerback is definitely a possibility. Just give him. Let's give him the best, the next best cornerback on the board, Cooper Dijon. Now the Texans. This is their Cleveland pick. And obviously they got Cedar Stroud. They got Will Anderson. Uh, a wide receiver possibly. Xavier Worthy. Yeah, that could make some sense there. Let's go ahead and give him Xavier Worthy. The Saints, they still could be looking for a defensive lineman next year. We'll kind of see how that goes. I think that's what we'll do, though. We'll, we'll give them some more defensive lineman help. The Dolphins, they have a first-round pick. What a world to live in. <laughs> what a world to live in. Again, it, it really all depends um, on some of these men. I don't think they're going to take Blake Corum as a running back, even though they could. I know they got a chain in the draft. Um, I, but I think tackle makes some sense here. Go ahead and give them Kingsley. The Ravens. I think I, I think defense line edge rusher makes a ton of sense. Let's go ahead and give them JT. Now the Chargers, they don't need wide receiver. May, I think safety is possibly a play. Ne put somebody next to uh, Derwin James. Edge rusher still, that could be a play. Let's go ahead and give them safety, however. Cowboys, Cowboys, Cowboys. Blake Corum? No, I don't think they take a running back. And tier off the line could make some sense. 
edge rushers, but they also could need the cornerback because I mean, Stephon Gilmore is cool, but you know, long term, you know how well he's he, how long is he going to be there? So let's go ahead and give him Denzel, Denzel Burke. The Packers back on the clock with the New York Jets pick. And edge rush. I mean, no, they got Lucas Van Ness, so they don't really need an edge rusher. Maybe a cornerback. I think, you know, tackle is definitely, I think they should look at tackle. So let's go ahead, give them Zion Nelson. Lions on the clock. Dang, they have the lines pretty far down. That's actually pretty surprising. Don't need an edge rusher. Still could use a cornerback depending on who they re-sign. Because lots of those guys are on one-year deals. I think like the only one that's not is Cameron Sutton. And that's definitely a possibility. Yeah, I think we'll give them corner. Yeah, let's give them Javon Bullard. The Jaguars. Ooh. Offensive line, that's going to be a need. Wide receiver could definitely be a need. If you, I mean, I think edge rusher is also in the play of possibilities. And so let's go ahead and give him Mason Smith. The Bills, they're, I, th I still think they're going to need weapons. So let's go ahead and give him the next best wide receiver. The Eagles with this pick. Ooh, maybe. In, well, they got DeAndre Swift. I think he's on a one-year deal. So that kind of depends what happens there. They'll probably need a guard soon because... The Lane Johnson will retire in the next year or two. Same thing with Jason Kelsey. So you're gonna move Jurgens inside to um center, and then what are you gonna do at that right guard spot or left guard spot, right guard spot, and then what are you gonna do at tackle? So off the line, and they love building in the trenches. Let's go ahead and give him Cooper Beebe. The Forty Niners, the Forty Niners. Ooh, they could cornerback. You know, tackle maybe. They lost McGlinchey. You know, Trent Williams is getting older. Let's go ahead and give him a tackle. The Bengals, they could go, again, they could go a few places there. Safety makes a ton of sense. A running back even makes a ton of sense. It with, um, we don't know what's happening with Joe Mixon. And he could be gone after this year. He could be gone this offseason. They got Chase Brown, but I don't think that, you know, let's go ahead and give him Blake Corum. And then the Kansas City Chiefs. I still think they need some wide receiver help. I, I wasn't the biggest fan of the Rasheed Rice pick. And they still haven't got somebody like DeAndre Hopkins. So I think a wide receiver is definitely in play. Let's go ahead and give him the 6'7 wide receiver in Johnny Wilson. So that's it, man. That's going to be the mock draft. This could have been completely horrible. I, I definitely want to take a look at this in 12 months before and kind of see how this plans out but again the only trade we did make was washington trading up for caleb williams again i can't wait to look back at this in 12 months so i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like subscribe and share and i'll see you guys next time peace out